All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be talking about um, uh, some more marketing tips and tricks. And uh, this is for um, uh, eBay, but I'm also going to talk about uh, Craigslist, for example. Um, I mentioned Craigslist uh, in my last video, but I never really uh, went into big details about how to do... Uh, marketing using Twitter to uh, tweet um, uh, Craigslist um, and uh, Craigslist uh, postings on to Facebook for example um, here's where at the end of your post when you get done posting your um, product on uh, Craigslist you have the opportunity to actually copy um, and uh, go ahead and copy your um, HTML um, that they give you and hit copy uh, copy that and then um, you want to go over here to Twitter. Um, some people may ask, like, well, why would you tweet something that is local? Um, uh, for something that is, you know, uh, international and national, such as, like, Twitter, uh, onto a Twitter platform. Um... And the answer is, there's a lot of local people who get on uh, Twitter for various reasons. Um, some people are big fans of Twitter. And um, some people just stick uh, exclusively to Facebook. Uh, some people have many different uh, social media accounts. Like I said in the last video, uh, I use uh, Twitter for... Um, marketing purposes so we're going to go to twitter.com and it should pop up my uh, account since I am logged in uh, and I haven't logged out so um, I should have there I am uh, yeah I just went ahead and um I'm going to go ahead and delete this last um, tweet because what I want to talk about here again is uh, Craigslist. I want to I, I went ahead and deleted that one. Here's another thing I reason why I deleted it is a big portion of the reason why people don't get the kind of sales that they want uh, using. Uh, marketing purposes and I'm going on to uh, eBay is because they're um, they have major typos or they have different kinds of misinformation that they may have accidentally left out or it may have accidentally put in there that they didn't want to be put in there so I, I would advise people to thoroughly read their post and is there's no shame in editing their post when they post uh, a product to eBay because if that product sells with uh, misinformation and this item is not as described when they get the item then you're going to have some trouble with that person that bought that item. They may actually, uh, you know, file a claim saying that the item was not as described. And they may actually say, well, um, you know, just because the item wasn't described uh, properly, they're going to throw a fit about it. Some people may not throw a fit about it, but they may send you a message telling you that they like the product, but the uh, product was not as described. And they'll kind of give you a um, 
kind of a verbal re uh, reprimanding, telling you like next time you list something on eBay, uh, to check your work. Um, let's say for example, I'm selling a uh, set of tires, and um, they're uh, buying the 205 70 15s and let's say the tread is in uh, really good shape well uh, let's flip it around let's say somebody else is saying the same thing I buy the tires from this seller and instead of uh, the, the tires being in excellent shape like as if they're as new or they're not saying as new but they're used and the price is not horribly bad uh... the thing of it is i might you know be graceful about uh, what i may say to this person by telling them hey you know just make sure to check you know your listing before you uh... post it uh, I will accept the tires, you know, kind of thing like that. And that the tires, I can use those. So anyway, I'm going to go back uh, to back to the uh, Facebook. Not Facebook, um, sorry. Going back to uh, eBay. And then I can go down here and I can... Um, go ahead and uh, edit look at what I edited uh, so a big portion of the reason why I was not really getting the sales is because it just the uh, posted itself needed to be edited and uh, there we go um, put that on Twitter I'm back on Twitter so now what I need to do is refresh um, and then I would see what I had posted on Twitter. Makes any sense there? I think I did. I, I, th I think I done something right. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. I don't know. Um. Uh. Yeah, I, I think I done something right. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I have to go back and check things out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that tab there. Go ahead and tweet that one again. Since it's already been tweeted, I'm going to try to tweet it. Hit the tweet button three times after that. Uh, pop up, see where. Uh, anyway, you, you get kind of like the point here, and um, so now I'm going to go back over here to Craigslist, and we have here all the things that I've uh, posted. I'm going to go here to the starter switch, ignition starter switch. I'm going to go ahead and try to... Uh, the way to get this set up to where you can actually get your link is to post this item uh, on the Twitter is simply by going back there back to your account and uh, edit you have to hit edit no I don't want to hit edit on that because it's already been edited I want to hit edit on that one so now go ahead and hit publish and then you can get your link copy and paste your link copy and then it will go back over here to Twitter and tweet this one so that way people see this one and hit tweet now that link here you should be able to test this link out to see if it's actually going to go back to the very same posting that you had posted on uh, 
Craigslist, and it did. So it means that our link is working. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to boogie on over to uh, Facebook. And we're going to go to Facebook. Click on Facebook uh, icon off eBay. And then um, hit post. So that way it's shared and it says eBay follow it, find it, and make it yours. So that one's good. Um, I have pretty much good confidence in, in uh, Facebook because usually I can click on whatever link I sent to Facebook and I can still go back to the eBay. Um, I want to show you guys in another video, uh, but first I have to kind of wind this up, so I'm showing you, you some more uh, marketing skills. We're going to go into the next video, which is talking about offer up. Uh, no, I'm not going to do offer up because I haven't journeyed that far in um, that profile because I set that profile back up uh, uh, last year is when I set that one up. And I set up uh, next door, I think, uh, last year as well. I uh, haven't done anything really with it because uh, I don't want to get too far carried away with different platforms. I want to stick to like one or two, maybe three at the most, because if you go far beyond that, now you're getting com yourself com confused on who may be contacting you and what platform they're contacting you off of. They may be sending you a message on your phone through a text message. And they may tell you, and you may get surprised. Be like, oh, yeah, I sent that one through uh, that platform. And then uh, it's, it can get you confused. But it can also be an opportunity if you have things, you know, down pat with schedules and writing everything down and keeping a good track note on everything. That... Um, you can make a lot of money on the, on on the internet. That's just the thing about it is these days. You can make a lot of money with it. But uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. So I'm gonna get off here and make another another video about the next uh, thing I want to talk about.